Assalamu alaikum. We get married. And then we have problems. And these problems are attributed to the mother-in-law. If it's not the mother-in-law, it's the daughter-in-law. If it's not the daughter-in-law, it's the husband. If it's not the husband, it's the wife. If it's not the wife, it is the father-in-law. If it's not the father-in-law, it's the sister-in-law. If it's not the sister-in-law, it's the brother-in-law. If it's not them, then it's the interference of someone, somewhere, somehow. Can we not just live and let live? Let's let people be. Let's not burden them with things they didn't have to do in the past. Although each one of us needs to make sure that we assume responsibility and help as best as we can, as much as we can, and make sure that we contribute towards the house. Let's not raise expectations to the degree that we begin to have major disaster and problems. I mean, a girl being raised in a home where it was just her, perhaps one sibling, her parents, and suddenly she goes into a home where she has to serve 10 people and morning to evening she's just become a maid. Is that fair? That's not fair at all. My brothers and sisters, be compassionate. Think about things. Then on the other hand, you have someone who comes into a home and expects everything to be done for them without lifting a spoon, as they were to say. That too is the other extreme. We need to learn to contribute proportionately and we must make sure that we sacrifice, we must make sure that we fulfill our duty and everyone should be making sure the same. If each one of us thinks about how we've made the lives of others easier and how we've given them reason to smile, how we've given them reason to be happy, we would definitely be in happier homes. It's quite sad what's going on now. It's become a game. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to respect one another. Remember, respect is key. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.